Hi and welcome to the final boss in Battle for Mount Hyjal, Archimonde. Now I'm showing you from a bit of a strange angle because I'm going to show you actually an item you need to pick up because you will need to use this during the fight. Uh, Archimonde is quite an interesting fight, uh, thought by most people, and is centered around um, something called Airburst. For this reason, you need to gather up a tier of uh, the goddess, tiers of the goddess, which you need to use during the fight to grant slow fall. This slow fall isn't on for very long, as you can see, two seconds, and it's got a 10 second cooldown. So this air burst mechanic, it throws you up in the air and everyone close to you, 15 yard range, so we stay, stay spread this whole fight. Um, but make sure that you use it close to the ground because you will die from the fall damage otherwise. Uh, it's a guaranteed kill. Outside of air burst, um, He's got a few mechanics. We'll start with um, probably one of the biggest ones outside of the airburst, which is called Soul Charge. Whenever a, a raid member dies during this, Archimon will get a Soul Charge and he will use it just at a random time, depending on what class. Uh, it has a different effect. So if it's a Priest, Mage or Warlock, it does fire damage plus silences to everyone in the raid. If it's a Warrior Rogue Paladin, it does physical damage plus increases damage taken by 50%, which is very rough. Um, if it's a Druid Shaman Hunter, then it deals nature damage, plus it burns mana. The mana and the debuff is probably the two worst ones. The silence is annoying uh, and can potentially kill, but shouldn't kill. Now, this is only if someone dies. Uh, outside of Airburst, which, like I said, it's a 15-yard uh, AoE centered around a player. And you get tossed up in the air and you need to use the tears so you can die. Uh, he also has fear. For this reason, we'll try and plug a shaman in every single group with a um, tremor totem in it. However, you can't stack fully. You have to like be around the totem, but don't like stand right on top of each other in case of air burst and fear happening at the same time. There's still a trigger timer on tremor totem. Outside of fear, he also does something called grips of the legion. Does a bit of damage. Uh, it's a curse. It's dispellable. It should be cursed. We'll also try and have a mage or a decursor in every single group. Make sure that you decurse. The last uh, mechanic to worry about is called Doomfire. It's a trial of fire on the ground, moving from Archimon towards a player. Uh, just don't stand in it. Move away from it. But again, because it involves movement, try and stay around your Tremor Totem, but it's more important not to get hit by the fire than it is to stay by your Tremor Totem. Fear isn't necessarily something that kills you. Um, standing in fire will. Now, there's a last... This is the Grip of the Legion. The last mechanic he has is a Finger of Death, which one-shots uh, his primary target if there is no target in melee range from him. This shouldn't be a problem ever, um, but yeah, now you know. Here we go. That's, I don't die because I'm on retail. Um, but yeah, tanks want to stay in. This is the Doomfire. Don't think it can target me because I'm uh, the primary focus for this. Okay, it seems a little bit bad. But yeah, basically, that's the fight. I can't show you the airburst because I wouldn't do it um, because I'm alone. But you get thrown up in the air. Just use this when you get close to the ground. Like I said, it's only two seconds active. Um, so make sure you get it like on a key bind or on your bars at least so you know where it is at all times. And you can use it. If you can control that, stay close to your tremor. And yeah, just a uh, new guard on get some fat loot. And a bit of RP at the end. It's a very cool death uh, cinematic. Uh, again, reminiscent of the Warcraft 3 uh, campaign where you actually do this as well. But yeah, this is all of uh, Mount Hyjal, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you for the Black Temple.